Oh, yeah. Don't run. I'm gonna keep him. He's not done yet. <laughs> hey guys, Catfish KC here. It's Nick. Uh, we're back. We gotta walk through all of this goody good good stuff to uh, get to where we need to be to get some fishing. So, we got our, our light, our bait, backpack chair, and our poles, and uh, let's get out there. All right, guys, well, just like before, I'm going to uh, rub this all over me. going all over my arms, my legs, my pant legs, anywhere them bugs like to get, all the openings. One other thing I learned that's pretty useful is making sure all these stick together on this trek down there. You guys know, you guys do some river fishing. Sometimes it's a long ways. Right now we got about uh, close to 100 yards to walk before we get to the river. And uh, I don't know where I got this thing, this little Velcro strap, but boy is it useful. Just put it on right there, bam. Now, grab all your poles, all the weights down here, it counterbalances. And take like that and this in the other hand so let's do this Make sure she's good and locked okay all right now we make our trick So this is why I rubbed that diatomaceous earth all over me. Because of all this walking through right here. It's pretty rocky, it's hilly. But uh, every single time I walk down here, I usually end up with about five or six ticks on me. And I'm talking as soon as I pull up to the river. I feel them crawling on me. So, Matt never seems to get any for some reason. He doesn't even get bug bites. But, uh, not me. Maybe that's not quite 100 yards, but a little ways to walk, that's for sure. And we're here. I gotta take a break. I just had something big swirl right here. Did you guys see that? Holy cow, what was that? I didn't even see it. I was too busy getting my stuff here. Something just swirled pretty good right here though. It's making me want to put a line in. We're also wanting to go down there at the end. It's a good spot down there. Got a couple, got a blue and a flathead right here. In the last few nights we've been catching them down there, so I don't know, this just made me uh, very curious. But uh, no, we're gonna go, we're gonna go down there. All right, now let's go. Get there a different way this time. Now, one thing you really got to watch out here is for this copperheads. 
We've definitely seen a few here. And we've had to uh, kill a few that are coming straight at me. There's one that I saw kind of swatted at it. It's coming up at me. And I started backing away from it. It kept coming at me. So you gotta watch out for those guys too. This looks like a good spot right here. All right, this is it. Popped my LaCroix. Oh, this is actually LaCroix. Usually I go with the, the Kirkland, the premium Kirkland brand. You probably can't see it, but uh, no, you can't put it way over there. Uh, probably about half a mile that way. We thought those were little kayakers the other day. I'm pretty sure they're just stumps sticking out of the water. And it looks like it's really shallow over there. This section right here kind of got way over there, bends, the water rushes around that bend over there. It kind of swirls around here and then starts coming backwards. So it's just creating this giant loop here. We've uh, had good luck lately with the flatties here, but um, we've also had a terrible time keeping the logs off our line. Hopefully tonight's a little different. Hopefully tonight we get some uh, some big old trophies. It's about uh, 8.20 right now. I've been here for about uh, 30 minutes. I've only had my poles in the water for about 10 or 15 now. We got a bunch of beavers over in this area too. Uh, this line's getting taken right here into this brush over here. It's not going to be pretty if I get something on there, or if I need to rebate. Yeah, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Right in there, my line's getting taken right on top of that brush pile. <laughs> so, hopefully, I can uh, maneuver it out of there. I have to. I'm gonna leave it there for now. There could be some little fishies coming on. Well, we got a beautiful sunset. Still no fish. It's been what? Well, it's about 8:50 right now, so just getting down to sundown. So they should be biting pretty soon. Let's see what they got. Got our fire going over here, just in case. It's actually got a little chilly out. It's in the lower 70s. Might have to do a bait check here pretty soon. The thing you gotta worry about, guys, is all this bug, right? So yeah, that's, it's kind of chilly out tonight, so we ain't got a bug problem. But perfect way to take care of that if you did. Mm. Stand right here. Let's take a good smoke bath. Mm. In my opinion, you don't even have to shower after this. Wash the fish guts off. Good to go. It does help a lot, though. And it's dropping down to the low 70s, so it actually does feel pretty nice to have fires. Coming up on 9 o'clock at night. Still no bites. All right guys, it's Matt with Catfish KC and I am at the Kansas River. I'm about to do some bank fishing. Now my little buddy and partner in crime, Nick, is here. He's been here for the past couple hours and we are fishing with live perch and live baits today um, because of the flat, flat header on the spawn but um, I got work called off for tomorrow so I decided to come out a little bit later spend a little bit more time with the family and um, I'm a, we drove separately so went ahead and just I just got here and there's Nick's Nick's he's proud of that Explorer I like it too it's a nice it's a nice Explorer but um, I'm gonna go ahead and go down this trail where Nick's at right now 
and uh, we're gonna see if we can catch any more of the flathead and and, and get some action tonight we've had a, a pretty good amount of action here um, resulting in some fairly big fish and lately as of late anyway so we're gonna try and see what we can get tonight I might be able to stay out just a little bit later since I did get work called off uh, for tomorrow so that's why we drove separately um, I'm about to go ahead and unpack I I had a car breakdown today so I'm using a spare it's like we got what we got in the bait bucket for tonight Here we got some crappie got some perch yeah, we got some lively hmm. nice perfect uh, bite size we got a good there's a good I like that guy right there he'll do good okay so I'm gonna try and get all this it's my huge backpack put this pole back back together I don't usually like using two-piece poles but um, I'm down a pole right now so I'm gonna go ahead and get my stuff packed up and I'm gonna go ahead and, and head down this it's a it's a short little hike of all of about a minute and a half so it's not too bad it's not the worst trail I've ever been on and hopefully we can catch something tonight so stay tuned and we will be catching more fish tonight all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and get started on this trail get packed up and start fishing and see if we can catch anything thanks all right Gets a little bit hairy in here. Back there, there's, you gotta watch where you go and walk, because there is uh, about a three foot hole, three or four foot hole, a couple of different places in the ground back there, and you'll just fall straight in them. So, <laughs> you gotta watch, watch where you're going out here. Almost getting there. I'm getting in the spider webs. All right, I see river. I see raccoons too or some sort of animal coming up on me here. Oh shoot. Fish on. Mm. Oh, there's a little guy. Mm. Mm. 
I took it down pretty fast. It was like an instant takedown. <laughs> it's just a little guy here. Oh, freaking A, man. They've got such a grip. Hear that? Grunt for us, little guy. Oh, what's up, dude? Kinda get dirty. Let's say he's probably about oh, three, maybe three pounder. Two, three pounder. Maybe too big. Matt, I literally just got this blue right when you were pulling up. Oh, you got a fish? He just caught a fish. This is the first catch. Uh, this is the first fish actually on my new reel that I just got. <sighs> Let's stop for a second. This water, this uh, gallon of water and carrying my bucket. All right, let's see if we can get around this big old log. Guys, this is one of the reasons why I got a boat, but some of these places are just fun to fish. Mm. Little mini camp started here. I was getting, uh, I was baiting up right here on this other pole and that one just tanked. Whew. Nick, get, get a shot of this contraption I got my GoPro on. Let's do it this way. <laughs> nice, uh, nice GoPro holder right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? He gets the job done. <laughs> Guys, look at this. He is the, he is the sweetest little girlfriend. Got a fire going and everything. I'm just kidding. He's not my girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> All right. You got, oh, you let him go? Okay, so we got a fish out here. Ooh. Let's see what we got here. Just walked up, no poles in the water yet. We got a little guy here. What's your name? Is it Mr. Dinks? Mr. Dinks? I literally just baited this one up. Oh, wow. I Miss. Bait on this one. Oh, he's biting my. Yeah, he, he does have a good bite. I put bait on this one, and all of a sudden I hear the pole going over there. Mr. Dinks. What's going on, buddy? So, all right. Where are we at here? Fish, fishing wise. No, I can actually go down there. Are you, is this about as far? No, I caught, I got a pole holding one down there. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and where in the heck are we? Oh. So you walk through the trees a little bit? I just walked right around it. He didn't have that in there more than five minutes before we started getting little tugs on it. You got a what it got on there? Live bluegill? Yep, yeah, actually yeah. There he goes again. Pulled me out of that brush. Nick just missed a fish. 
Were you in the brush? Were you stuck a little I was bit? Over here in this brush. Uh, oh, it is pretty. Right in that tree. It's pretty hairy down there. So, uh, fish gone. I'm guessing. No. Nope. Well, let's see if they're still alive. He's swimming down. Still good. Like something took away his. Did you do that? That wasn't me. I didn't have no scissors. It's a pretty clean bite out of there. <laughs> huh. You gonna throw this other blue back? Or did you think I did it? Oh, whoops. <laughs> Forgot about you. <laughs> we got fish on fish on fish out here. This one, I'm gonna <laughs> do what I did last time. That's a pretty good. Get it out there. Pretty good, nice forecast. I might go sit up, <laughs> see if I can go ahead and get my third pole in there again. <laughs> Hopefully we, we can have a good night. I barely even got my first pole set in with a, a nice perch on there, pretty active, and wasn't able to even start messing with my second pole and got some pretty good tug down. So that's on that new, new monster rod over here. Still have yet to catch something over 20 pounds on it with that cat max reel looks like I'm getting some really getting something messing with it the the click on this this new cat max brand I mean they went back and I think they're gonna fix it this year but the click on it's very low if you let's see if we can I mean, I can't hear that if I'm way across over there at the fire. So I got to use a, I got to use a little kitty bell. <laughs> but I don't mind. I just I don't want to lose a two hundred dollar, two hundred dollar setup right there. Yeah. Get your plug in. There we go. Gonna go ahead and send him out. Of course, you showed me just the back of him. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get a little fight to it. <laughs> it's pulling it's got, drag, man. Is he really? You know, it's, it's hard to tell how big it is with this new rod because uh, this has a good pull on it. I'm going over my line. Going up, up, upstream. Want to get in the mess? Oh. Come on out, boy. He feels pretty big. <clears throat> And he is, man, he is just pulling drag. He is not one to go for. Ooh. Ooh, it's gotta, it's gotta be a flathead the way it just Oh yeah, dude, it's fighting down. like a flathead for sure. Come on. Just doesn't want to come up. Oh, you might some more drag. Oh shoot! 
Yeah, you might need to fight him for a little bit. Oh, he's just taking my... Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna set this. I'm gonna have the clicker on just so you can hear the drag coming out. I wonder if I can fight him over here towards the bank, where the, we can actually get him up. Yeah. If you want, I can start moving some of these poles. I think there's a better chance right here. You're fine. This is a big fish. We gotta go, man. He's going to the right or left. Going, up. going upstream. It's good. It's getting closer where we can get him. Yeah, it, it's a huge drop off there back right, right here. We here we start to get some bank in here. It's a little bit slippery, isn't it? Oh yeah. Don't run. I'm gonna keep him. He's not done yet. There's some entire mountain until he gets here. careful down there. No, you don't. <sighs> oh. oh my. That's a good oh. fish. That's a good fish. Good fish. <laughs> oh right. look at this. He's bar he's barely caught right there. Oh. That is that is so shallow. Man, it pulled my Oh, that just it popped right out. Oh. oh, wow. Nice. Look at this. Look at this guy. He took it down. Mm. All right, let's get over here and get some. Mm. Get a weight on him. Oh, yeah. Oh. All right, guys. This is what I got. It's a pretty big boy right here. Okay. Oh, I didn't get any of that. Let's get a weight on. Gave me a fight, man. A little war out. Well, well, they're here. I guess I'm next in line hey. for a fish. <laughs> yeah, this is probably like 25, 28. Well, that's right. Now it's right about 29.3, 29 and a half. So at 29. It's amazing how this thing is 29 pounds. It feels a lot more than that, I'll tell you that. Yeah, look at the size of his head. this <sighs> all right Matt he's had some better days but he is sure a beautiful fish that, <laughs> he's that, a, that's what I like to call a good looking fish that's what I call a good looking fish look how big his head is man yes I have a glove I'm a germaphobe I could stick my whole hand in there 
That's what noodling is, I guess. Oh. <laughs> These gloves aren't that great, actually. <laughs> <laughs> this tooth just ripped it right off. Oh. All right. Oh, he won't be able to see with grass in your eye. Oh, these little eyeballs. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> <laughs> like the Chinese emperor. <laughs> oh, man, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he has so much dirt on the bottom of him. Oh. Mimsy. Yeah, that Mimsy. Mimsy. All right. All right, this looks like as good a spot as any. Hmm. This polar here has got dust on it. <laughs> this guy's actually, oh look, he's got a little centipede on him. Hey, he's smiling. He's about to get He's smiling, he knows where he's going. You know what? Oh man. I think he's getting kind of soft, so. I'm just gonna. What's funny is it's probably about eight or nine feet of water right there. Yeah, that's a. It's a drop off. I learned that because I went swimming the other day and it accidentally. There he goes. He's getting some life back in him. He's probably gonna splash me in the face pretty good when he takes off. There he goes. There he goes, yep. There he goes. And he's I, off. I noticed they're not splashing in the face here at this location. I think it's because it's like nine foot deep. You know, they're not. You're not really releasing them so off to. Just too. a straight decline down. Yeah, they just disappear. So. Nice. Shout out to Catfish Dave. Woo! <laughs> dag blasted. I didn't dag, get. The dag blasted flathead right here. Dag blasted. It wasn't mine. Yeah, it wasn't on my pole. We watch you, Catfish Dave. <laughs> Inspiration. That was a good one, though. Works in. All right, guys, I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna get this right back out to where I had it, basically. <laughs> As Matt chokes on a gallon of water. Well, I'm running right in your way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna lob it out there, though. Right on, right at the edge of that uh, swirl, where it, right where it's swirling, coming in. So basically. We found out the other night that uh, that this uh, bank actually is pretty steep. It doesn't come in like this. It kind of comes in like this. And Matt found that out the hard way <laughs> by falling in the river. Uh, and so what I've done is I've done a test today. I got out here a little bit earlier. So I have a pole down there and I have a couple this way. I threw some way out. I, I threw one like 60 feet out. I threw one 20 feet out. And uh, this one that I actually just caught this flathead on, I just lobbed it out maybe 10, 15 feet, and it kind of came right back up towards the bank, right at that steep decline or incline. So it's probably sitting about eight feet right off the bank and probably about 10 feet uh, right at the edge of the bank coming up. So that's where I caught him, uh, and it just took it. It took it. So hopefully that happens again. Just barely missed his eye right there.
Good looking, good looking fish right there. So, guys, uh, Nick had to take off about 30, 30, 40 minutes ago and left me here. So, sorry about the filming, but that one actually kind of worked out. He's a uh, smaller, smaller flathead, but well, I'll take him. He's actually, he's really lively right now. Really lively. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get him back in there. And that was caught on, that was a live perch. Um, about medium size, about the size of the palm of your hand. So, I'm gonna get another one out there. And uh, he's got nice colors. Nice colors. All right.